Hi, today I'll show you how to create this in PowerPoint. We have this concept based animation that shows you how to visualize four ideas that hit the target. It's a very simple concept and this animation really brings the idea to life. Let me show you how to create this from scratch. I'm going to use PowerPoint 365 morph animation to create this effect. However, at the end of this video, I'll show you how you can create the same effect just with custom animation in PowerPoint so you can use any version of PowerPoint. So watch this video till the end and let us jump right in. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. Here I am on a new slide. The first step is to create the visual of a target board. For that, I'm going to use SmartArt. So let us go to Insert, SmartArt, then go to Relationships, go down and you'll find this one called as Stacked When. OK. Now we have four of these options available by default. Just go here to the text pane, hit enter. So we have five circles, six, seven. So we have seven circles in this diagram. Now let us click on the bounding box. Go to Smart Art Design. Here you have the option to convert it to shapes. So click on that. Now we have Smart Art converted to shapes. Now right click, go to group and say ungroup. Now every individual circle is isolated. Now let us go to align middle and align center. You will find these options in the home tab. Go to arrange. You can find align, align center, align middle, etc. I've got all of them available here in quick access toolbar to save myself some time. Now let us change the colors so we can create the beautiful board. First, I'm going to choose this bullseye. Then hold the control button, leave the next circle and click on the next one. While holding the control button, leave the next one and click on the next. Leave the next one and click on the outer rim. Now we have selected the alternate circles. Go to shape fill and use this red color. Then hold the control button as you click these blue ones and then choose white color and then select everything by pressing control A. Go to shape outline and say no outline. Press control G and we have our target shape done. Now we need to give this a 3D perspective. So let me reduce the size of this by holding the shift button down. I have clicked and dragged from the corner. So the size is proportionally reduced. Let us go to shape effects, go to 3D rotation and choose one of the perspectives. Let us choose this one. Done. Then go to shape effects, go to bevel and choose one of the bevels here. So you can choose this round. And once again, go to shape effects and you can even adjust some of the properties. So let us go to 3D options here and then increase the depth to somewhere around 25 points. Now we have this beautiful visual of a target diagram. Now you can see that this visual is hanging in thin air. So we need to ground it. The way we can do that is by adding a shadow underneath. To do that, let me go to auto shapes gallery, pick up the oval tool and draw an elliptical shape like so. Go to shape outline and say no outline and we're going to fill this with gradient. So right click, go to format shape and go to fill and go to gradient fill. Now the type that we're going to choose is path. We don't need all these many stops, just two stops are more than enough. So the first stop needs to be dark color. You can choose this dark color, black text one light of 15%. And then this second stop need to be white or any other color. It doesn't matter because we are going to use transparency to 100%. Now let me move this first stop which is on the left extreme at position 0% to somewhere around 10 to 12%. So here I have it around 12%. Now that looks nice. Now let me place this right below the visual of the target board. Right click and send this to back. If I want, I can always increase the size like so and then place it over here. Now that looks a lot more realistic. If you want, you can always move this a little to the left. It is completely up to you. You can make your customization. Then you select this target board and the shadow and hit Ctrl G to group and we are going to keep this to one side. 
Now right click, go to layout and have it as title only and let us say four ideas that hit the target. So this is going to be our title. Now we are going to have four text elements here. Let me just make some adjustment in terms of its positioning. Yeah, that looks good. Now we need to have dots hitting the target. Now where do we get the dots? It's very simple. Let us go to pixabay.com, search for dots or arrow, you will find this diagram. I'll also leave a link in the description box below the video so you can directly go there and download this diagram. You can go to download and choose vector graphic instead of the PNG options and say download. Now once you have the download available, you go to the folder, copy the image and paste it onto your slide. Now we are going to make some adjustments to this. Since this is an SVG image, it is possible for us to work with this and change its properties. So let us right click, go to convert to shape. Now it is converted to shape so we can work with the various elements. The first thing I don't want is this shadow that is seen here. I'm going to right click, go to group and say ungroup and then remove this shadow element. So delete it. I want the pointy end to be darker in color. So go to shape fill and give it black color. And I want this bit to be in a different color, maybe somewhere around this kind of an aqua color. And even this color that I see here can be in a darker aqua color. Now that looks pretty nice. I'm going to select everything and reduce the size so it looks a little bit more realistic. So let me hold the shift button down and adjust the size. Now this is just the right size for my dart and I'm going to place the first one over here. and. I'm going to have three more copies of this. Press Ctrl D once, twice and thrice. And then let us change the angle in which they hit the target. So let me place this over here. Now that looks good. Let me rotate this a little bit more. Maybe it comes a little bit from the down. And even this can be slightly adjusted in terms of its angle of rotation. And I've got that available here. Maybe a little bit of adjustment will make this look even better. So we've got four of these darts hitting the bullseye of this target board. Now let us have four of the points written on the right hand side. To save myself some time, I am just going to copy and paste the text elements that I had already written. Now this is the base diagram. Now we are going to make the previous stages. So let us right click, duplicate this slide and then zoom out by clicking on the slider here and then place all of these outside the slide area. Maybe I can zoom like this so it is much easier for me to see what is going on and I can show you what is going on. Let me move this somewhere over here and this one somewhere over here and see that all of these are outside the slide area and let us have this somewhere down here. So these are the angles that I have already fixed and therefore I don't really have to mess with the angle of rotation here. All I'm doing now is to keep them out of the slide area. The same way I'm going to remove all of these. Now this is the opening position. Right click, duplicate slide and here let me go to transitions, apply morph transition and the duration is going to be one second. And then the first thing I'm going to do is to take this dot here and let it hit the bullseye here. At the same time, let me go to the first slide. Here I have my text written and properly aligned and distributed. So I know exactly where this text needs to go. So I'm going to press Ctrl C and then come here and press Ctrl V. Right click, duplicate the slide, bring another of these dots and then place it over here. Go back to the first slide, select this text which is for the second point and press paste and we have the second text in place. Then let us right click, duplicate slide and then move this somewhere over here. And then let us pick up the third text element, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V and right click, duplicate slide and then move the last piece here. And then let us have the first slide and then copy the text and then press Ctrl V, job done. Now you remember we have already got morph transition applied to all of these since we used duplicate slide every one of them also have the same morph transition inherited. So this is the first slide. We don't really need this one so I'm going to just delete it. Now the way I would present this is let us go to slideshow, 
Today, I'm going to share four ideas that hit the target for the last year. On a click, I show the first idea and I discuss that. Then I click and show the second idea, discuss that. The third idea, discuss and the fourth idea, discussed. So that is how we show this beautiful visual. It is quite versatile. You can use it in n number of situations. Now, how do you create this animation in case you don't have morph transition? Can we do that with just custom animation? Yes, in fact, it is even easier with custom animation. Once we have this base graphic taken care of, let me create a duplicate so we can see what we are doing. I don't really have morph transition, so let me hit none. Now, let me go to fit slide to current window. Let me select each of these dots. So let me select the first one, hold the shift button down, and then select the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. And then I'm going to apply fly in animation. So let us go to animations and let us choose fly in animation. Now, each of these dots are going to fly in from different directions. The first one is going to come from top right. This one is going to come from right. And this one is going to come from right again. And this one is going to come from bottom right. So we have a variety. Then let us go to animation pane and all of these are going to happen on a click. And as each of these come, we will have these text elements revealed. So select this, hold the shift button down, select this, this and this, and then have them wipe from left. And this happens with previous and I'm going to move each of them close to their appropriate animation. So let us move this like this. So we have two animations on each click. The first one where the dot comes and hits the target. And the second one is the text is revealed. So let me go to slideshow. On a click, this is how the first one hits, the second one hits, the third one, and the fourth one. If you want it to be a bit more dramatic, you can add a bit of bounce end. So let us go to each of these while holding the control button down. So I have selected the four animation events, then go here, go to effect options and add a bit of bounce end like this. So the effect really looks quite interesting. So let us go to slideshow on a click, see the way it hits. Now, maybe this is a little bit too much. So let us go here and adjust it. So it is slightly lesser maybe around 0.12 seconds. Now that is a little more realistic. So let us go to slideshow on a click this, 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 and this happens. Beautiful, isn't it? So whether you have morph transition or you just have plain custom animation available in your PowerPoint, you would be able to create this beautiful animation. So try creating it and let me know how it came out in the comment section below. If you liked this video, then you will really like this other video that we created called How I Created Animated Video in PowerPoint. It's a humorous and at the same time quite informative video that can really add to your PowerPoint skills. This video has close to 1.6 million views and it's quite popular. All you need to do to watch that video is to click on the link right now that you see on the screen and go directly to that video, watch it and enjoy the next tutorial. I'll see you inside that video.